We're losing this? So as you guys probably got from the video intro, yes, rumors are confirming that unfortunately, Apple's going to be removing the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that's contained on almost every single device that all of us own. Not sure why this is, because if Apple goes ahead and removes this port, we're not gonna be able to use our headphones anymore. This is a problem because a lot of people have really expensive headphones that they're no longer gonna be able to use. Also, it's kinda nice to have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on almost every every device I own because it makes it unified and easy to use the one nice pair of headphones that I want to use. Luckily, Apple is seemingly working on a fix for this, but in my opinion, the fix is going to have to be extremely significant, bring something extremely revolutionary to the forefront because losing the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is a huge deal. Looks like Apple's got some cool little ideas in store. Not sure how I feel about them, but essentially what they're planning comes from Apple Insider in the news. Apple Insider is reporting that through a patent, Apple is looking to provide headphones that are both wireless and wired headphones at the same time. The way they will work is they'll plug into the lightning port of your device and they will be similar to a MagSafe port, which is what the current MacBooks have on their charging cables. The MagSafe port is magnetic, so it's pretty cool. You'll be able to pull it off whenever you want. But in my opinion, I'm just not really sure how this is gonna work. Unless I can really pull off the wire all the way up to the earbuds and make my headphones truly wireless, I'm not sure how effective these headphones are gonna be or how much I'll actually use them. The one cool thing though is that if you plug in the Bluetooth headphones to the lightning port, it will charge your device headphones, which allows you to walk around with them without an extra battery or an extra charging cable, which is always a good thing, but again, not sure how much that's gonna offset the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack loss. As I said before, we're probably gonna have to buy an adapter. I agree that Apple's going to have to release at least an adapter if they get rid of the headphone jack, and this really just isn't a good move. However, I know that Apple has a lot of loyal fans, including myself, that probably would buy it if we had nice enough headphones, so can't really put them down for it as they're going to make a bunch of money off of it, but it just seems like a bad move in my opinion. So Apple, if you ever see this video, please don't remove the headphone jack. If you do, give us something worthwhile. Give us awesome new headphones. Anyways, these rumors don't fully confirm that the iPhone is losing the headphone jack. I have heard a lot of rumors confirming that, but if the iPhone is to lose the headphone jack, I can see the headphones being magnetic or something like this to try to mask the fact that we lost a feature that we all love. Anyways, it'll be interesting to see what Apple does. Be sure to subscribe. Click that subscribe button to hear more updates on this. Gonna keep you guys updated as we move forward. And I'll do some reviews if they do come out with some new headphones. So stick around and rate thumbs up and follow my social networks down there. Follow my Twitter, follow my Facebook, all that good stuff. I've also got links for you guys to get some free applications on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, so check that out as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.